going on guys? Talkner is sitting here back for another video. I hope you guys are all doing fantastically well. As always, a massive thanks to our sponsors. You can check them out in the links down below. Uh, but back today for my preview ahead of tomorrow's game, or the game on Saturday, depending on what day you're watching, against Aston Villa away from home, buzzing for the trip up to Villa Park. Really excited, always a great away day, despite the fact uh, I've never seen us win there in the four times I've been. So let's hope for something a little bit better this time. Uh, let's quickly run through the injury news then. Obviously, the obvious ones, Louis Thompson, um, Tim Close, uh, Jamal Lewis, and a few others are still out. Um, Close, though, should be back, maybe for Millwall. If not, definitely after the international break, which is always good news. Jamal Lewis is out for four months, which is really disappointing. Pritchard is, of course, out. Louis Thompson's out till the end of the season. So there's a couple of really long-term injuries, but... We've still got a decent squad um, on paper. Pinto is probably going to be in the squad for this game against Villa. He uh, limped off with cramp in his leg. Um, so he probably hasn't trained as much as the other players have done. But it's likely that he will be in the squad against Villa. So let's get straight into the team then. Once again, gone for the Sharpie pen with the card, green card combo. Let's start in goal with Angus Gunn, who I thought had his best game in a Norwich City shirt on Wednesday night against QPR. Pulled off a big save within the first 10 minutes. Pulled off an even bigger save late on. Uh, a good double save and also made a good save uh, against Luke Freeman. So Gunn had a fantastic game. Now I'm going to switch up the formation a little bit or keep it the same as it, as it was on Wednesday. But I'm going to once again go with the back four. I just think we look a little bit more settled in that formation. Um, yeah, I just think we look a bit better. So the defensive... Well, the centre-back part partnership is obviously going to be Marcel Franca next to Christoph Zimmerman. I thought Zimmerman had his best game in a Norwich City shirt on Wednesday as well. And probably also Franca. It was very interesting to hear them say in their press conference or Zimmerman's press conference um, that it's, you know, they're still adapting. And the big thing is them aerial duels and... There's literally never a foul given when two players go up for, the, for a header. There's elbows used, as he said, and that's English football, isn't it? And that's something they're going to have to get used to. And I suppose it's them little things that maybe we don't think about is going to be the things that are affecting these players. And I thought Zimmerman and Frank were brilliant in the air on Wednesday night and also on the ground as well. Now, right back, I'm going to have to go with Russ Martin, not because... I necessarily think that's the best, or I suppose it is the best option if Pinto's not going to be fit. I think Russ can do a job at right back. Obviously, I don't think he's up the Pinto standard, but we'll stick him in there for now. And then out in left back, I'm going to make a change as well. I'm going to put Stieperman in there. So Stieperman came on on Wednesday in more of a, was it a left back position or sort of a left winger position? Um, and I thought he was excellent. He's a lot taller than I thought. He's a lot bigger than I thought. There was a stat, a fantastic stat that Paddy Davitt said that in the nine-minute cameo, uh, Stieperman made or made up 1.4 kilometres in distance ran. And if that would have been the average over a 90-minute period, it would have been a championship record in terms of distance covered. So this man is clearly wanting to impress. Daniel Farker described his physical condition as unbelievable. So that's absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to put him, him in there for husband. I haven't been too impressed with husband so far. Um, I'm not writing him off by any stretch of the imagination, but I think Stieperman's maybe a little bit of an upgrade compared to, um, compared to husband. Now I'm going to go, of course, with Harrison Reed just in front of that back line protecting them. He had his best performance in the Norwich City shirt on Wednesday, and I thought he's been probably the most consistent performer in the four games we've seen so far, including that League Cup game. He's everywhere. He puts in a tackle. He's prone to a foul, I must admit, but that's just his sort of ankle snapping um, his, his ways. Um, but I thought he was excellent, and that goal was, was unbelievable. Manson predicted it in the match day experience, didn't he? Fantastic from him. Now, the midfield pairing, I'm going to go um, with unchanged, actually. I'm going to go with Madison next to Vrancic. I thought Vrancic, once again, had his best game in a Norwich City shirt on Wednesday. Um, I wasn't overly convinced with him in the first two games, but he, he very much adapted well for that for that game on Wednesday night. It was a, it was a beautiful little through ball for, for our opening goal that Nelson finished off superbly well. And I just thought he was much, much better in terms of keeping up with the game. His passing was a lot better. 
And uh, look, Vrancic, I think, is going to be a decent player for us. But once again, like Zimmerman, like Frank, or probably like Stieperman, it's going to take time to adapt from the German game. So going to stick Vrancic in there once again. Um, out on the left-hand side, I'm actually going to go with Stevie Naismith. So Stevie Naismith out there. Uh, and then Vilschke on the right wing. Now let's talk through these ones, shall we? So first of all, Vilschke is in there because I think he's probably our best, si best right-sided player. Um, and I think he suits Villa because Martin probably isn't going to be the most comfortable at right back. I'm not writing Martin off here, but I don't think he's the best at this level. Um, Vilschke can drop in deep. He's played in a right wing back role for a lot. I think he's better going forwards, though. I think he's incredibly direct. Um, I think he'll put what is a fairly slow Aston Villa defence under a lot of pressure. He's strong, he's tall, he's physical, and that will suit an away game perfectly well. In terms of Naismith out on the left, I think he's probably going to be recalled into the side. Um, I suppose you could put Murphy out there, which would be an equally good um, sort of replacement, but I'd put Naismith in there just for a little bit of experience, um, a little bit more of an, advanced, of an advanced role compared to what he played against Sunderland that I don't think suited him that well. But Daniel Farker rates Stephen Naismith. He's going to have fresh legs going into this week's game, which is going to be important because Villa have had a, an extra day's rest to us. So stick Stevie Naismith in there. And then up top, of course, I'm going to go with Nelson, the big man. Although, saying that, Paddy David raised a good point, and I think he might be right that I don't know if Nate Nelson is guaranteed to start on Saturday because Farker likes to switch things up, doesn't he? He hasn't really had... Or, played the exact same team as of yet. Uh, he hasn't really played the exact fo same formation. And with that game being on Wednesday and so close to this game against Villa, is he going to drop Nelson to the bench and put Jerome in there for the physical work rate, for the fresh legs? I'm not so sure. I think it's an option. I wouldn't personally, but don't be surprised if you see Cameron Jerome on, on the team sheet. That's all I'm saying. So that is the team I'm going for. A little bit of a change at the back with Stieperman going in there and Martin coming in because of Pinto's sort of injury, um, pretty much unchanged midfield. It is an unchanged midfield. Naismith coming in, Vilsgut coming in, and Nelson staying. Let me know your thoughts on what team you would play. Would you be disappointed to see Nelson drop to the bench, or would you be happy that some fresh legs are coming in and Cameron Jerome? Naismith, let me know your thoughts on him. If you wouldn't play him, who would you play? Stieperman, would you bring him in, or would you leave James' husband in there? And Vilsgut, would you bring him back in? Lots to saw, lots to go through, buzzing to go up to Villa Park. I will be there. Loads of content coming from that day. Also, if you haven't already, follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. All of the links down in the description below. We are putting tons of content out there this season, and you don't want to miss it. Well, you could miss it, but you don't want to. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Peace out.